what's up you guys my name is mina welcome to my channel mina reads and today we're doing my mid-year book freak out tag so let's just get right into the questions best book you've read so far in 2020 i definitely have to say that the best book that i've read so far is the wicker king by kate ancrum this book hit me so hard it made me so emotional i felt so connected to the characters and i was just in completely obsessed with it um the wicker king is basically about these two characters named jack and august and they have this really intense friendship um and there's kind of like a friends to lovers dynamic between them but this book is particularly about Jack and Jack's mental health. So it's about August and his relationship to Jack and his relationship with Jack as Jack kind of mentally deteriorates because Jack is currently seeing delusions and how this codependent relationship that they have is adversely affecting, affecting their relationship and just their lives in general. Um, I really love this book. Uh, it just was like, it hit me so hard. It made me feel all of the emotions and I just felt like so shook by it. Also, it had polyamorous rep in it, which I was a huge fan of. And I don't know, this book, it just hit me. The writing was beautiful. Everything about it was just stunning. And I can't stop thinking about this book. So it's definitely up there as one of the best books I've read this year. Best sequel you've read so far in 2020. The best sequel that I've read definitely would have to be The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. Um, the first book in that series is The Poppy War. I absolutely love this series. I think that this was a perfect sequel because Rin, our main character, I think that her character development is very interesting because Rin is not, she's not experiencing like a very kind of linear like character arc or whatever she definitely has like a very interesting morality and i think that she makes a lot of bad decisions she has not made a bad decision that she will not make and so i think that there's something so interesting about her and the way that she like moves throughout her world and the decisions that she makes um this is like a military fantasy and so she's in the military and it's like the kind of decisions that she makes and the moral judgments that she makes that i think are really interesting the conversations around war and what war looks like and like who's on the right side of the war and all those kind of questions is just so interesting and i think that this sequel really built so well on the foundations of the first novel and i can't wait until the final book in that series comes out new anticipated release that you haven't read yet um so so I'm going to go with Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty, which is the finale in the David Bot trilogy. And I am so terrified to read this book. Um, I have an arc of it. It comes out June 30th and I have an arc of it and I'm so scared to read it. I'm literally terrified to read it because this is one of my favorite fantasy series that I've ever read um, and I'm just I'm scared for it to be over. I don't want to like let go of my favorite characters and but also I'm nervous like what if what if the ending is not amazing like what if the ending ruins the series for me like I don't know I'm just so scared to read it but I am excited as well so I would feel like I, it's like it's an excited terror you know it's it's a weird feeling but I do believe I have some faith in S.A. Chakraborty that the ending is going to be amazing and it'll probably make me cry but I have not read it yet most anticipated release for the second half of 2020 probably How to Catch a Queen by Alyssa Cole this is a romance novel I don't 100% know what it's about. I kind of feel like it might be a spinoff Cole's Reluctant Royal series. I don't know if that's true or not, but it has the same like modern royalty vibe. And I believe this is about this guy who marries this girl who's like not of royal descent and he marries her and she's amazing. She's this amazing queen, but the people do not love her. And so she kind of runs away from home. And I think it's about the guy trying to get her back. So I don't know. I'm just really excited about that. I love modern royalty. I think Alyssa Cole is super cool. Biggest disappointment of 2020, I would say, I would say Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, but if I'm being completely honest, I didn't have any hope that that book was going to be good. So the fact that I ended up not liking it is not a huge surprise to me, to be completely honest. So if I had to pick something else, I would probably say Love Her or Lose Her by, I don't know the name of this author. I can't remember it. It just completely slipped my mind just now but i hated this book i hated it with a passion i thought that i was going to love this book because it has a trope that i like which is basically when like the it's a romance about an established couple and we're seeing them like fight for their relationship to get it to work it's like dominic and rosie they're in this relationship they're married um but at the beginning of the book rosie kind of asks for a separation and then this is about like dominic trying to win her back and them going to like couples counseling and stuff but i absolutely hated this book i didn't like anything about it i did not like the characters i did not like their romance i did not like their writing it was supposed to be funny i did not laugh it was just it just was not it at all for me and 
it was just it just did not work it didn't work i didn't like the characters i felt like dominic was just the worst like i fucking hated him he was so stupid and everything that he did just made me uncomfortable like his inner monologue made me uncomfortable and there was just something about him that was just like so obsessive and possessive and weird and it just didn't feel right it didn't feel right i was not comfortable with their relationship at all and i so passionately wish that they had just divorced so that is not at all how you should feel when you're reading a romance so huge disappointment biggest surprise i think my biggest surprise is definitely menace by jm darhauer which is like a mafia romance it's about this guy named lorenzo and this girl named scarlet and so lorenzo and scarlet they meet at a bar scarlet robs him and then lorenzo who's like this crime mafia boss guy he's like you know he's so shocked by the disrespect that he's like hunting her down and he's kind of planning to kill her for the disrespect but he doesn't end up doing that and it's like a relationship between them and i was really surprised by how much i like this because lorenzo is like very much a bad person he's very much a bad person his morality is not there he's like really shitty in a lot of ways and like he's a murderer and shit so i was not expecting to like him but he's like one of my favorite characters of the year his like internal monologue is fucking hilarious and he really reminds me of tommy from power if any of you guys have watched that tv show he reminds me of him so much and i think that tommy is fucking hilarious like one of the funniest characters on tv so i don't know something about lorenzo just worked for me and i was really surprised by how much i like this series favorite new author i think i'm gonna go with katrina jackson this year in february of 2020 for my black love-a-thon i read neighborly by her and i love that book i adore that book so much it's just so so pitch perfect like everything about it i'm obsessed with it it's about these um these two couples who live like side by side and their neighbors and the walls are really thin and basically they constantly just like hear each other having sex and they're attracted to each other and it's about this like polyamorous coupling between all of these people and i'm just obsessed with it i love the concept of it i thought it was so hot i thought that the relationships the communication it was all just excellent it was just it was just chef's kiss perfection so and then everything that i've read from katrina since then like office hours um and also like the beautiful and the dirty just like fantastic so i'm definitely a obsessed with her now newest fictional crush i think that my newest fictional crush has to be nicholas from you deserve each other which is another book that has that trope that i like with like established couples like trying to fix their relationship and this book was exponentially better than love her or lose her i was obsessed with this book and anyway this is about these two fiancés nicholas and naomi and they don't like each other anymore and they kind of want to call off their wedding um but they don't know how to break that news to the other person so they're kind of just like pranking each other in the hopes that the other one will get tired of them soon enough and break off the engagement for them um and basically nicholas does not want to break off the engagement at all he wants to like fight for their relationship and naomi is more so trying to get nicholas to break up with her so it's very interesting i love nicholas the reason that nicholas is my new favorite my new like fictional crush he bought her a house he bought her her dream house like when he realized that she was upset and like she wasn't happy anymore he bought her her fucking dream house like if naomi didn't want his ass i want him he was amazing five out of five stars a legend a king we love him and we stand newest favorite character um clay cooper from kings of the wild kings of the wild is an adult fantasy series about like this mercenary band but they're like old and washed up and essentially they get the band back together so they can save one of the, the band members daughter who's like trapped in this city that's under siege and so i really love clay as a narrator i think clay is so funny um he just has like that whole like grumpy old man thing going on which is so interesting in like an adventure fantasy book and i don't know i just was like really taken by him i loved him as a narrator um if i had to pick another favorite character from that book it would probably be moog moog is like this gay wizard and he's so eccentric he's so funny i was obsessed with him i loved him so much book that made you cry the wicker king the wicker king I sobbed when I read like the last pages I sobbed I didn't think I was gonna cry I thought that like I, you know I thought I was tough but I really did cry those thug tears because holy shit that book had me shook shook to my core a book that made you laugh I would say love unsolicited by Alexandra Warren I read that in my most recent vlog oh my god that book was so fucking funny I just think that Joella and Keanu have such a funny relationship. The things that they say to each other are just fucking hilarious. I love the dialogue in this book so much and I just I just appreciated it. Like it wasn't necessarily supposed to be a funny book but I think that the dialogue in this was really good and I feel like the banter between the two characters was just pitch perfect so I laughed a lot reading this book. Um, it's not necessarily like a comedy but 
it was very enjoyable and I liked it a whole lot. So yeah, maybe that one. Most beautiful book that you bought this year? I kind of want to say Me Q Club by Jack Harbin. I don't know if that's the definitely the prettiest book that I bought this year, but it's the one that comes to mind. I just really love pink covers. I don't know why, but if a cover is pink, I'm probably going to be in love with it. So that's the only one that's really coming to mind. Also, Meet Cute Club is such a cute, sweet romance, so you should totally read it. Um, but yeah, that cover is just like chef's kiss perfection. What books do you still need to read before the end of the year? Um, I, there's a lot of books that I still need to read. I still need to read Ninth House and like The Starless Sea. I've been putting those books off for ages. I need to read those. Um, I really want to get into N.K. Jemisin this year. I've also been putting that off. I'm just so intimidated by her as an author, but I'm just nervous, you know, I'm just nervous because I feel like either I'm going to love her, but what if I don't love her? That will upset me. So I feel like I keep putting it off, but I will get to her books soon. Hopefully. Also, I need to read This Is How You Lose the Time War by Amal al Muhtar and Max Gladstone. I still have not read that book. I've had it for ages. My friend Scarlett is going to kill me because I still haven't read it, but I will read it hopefully this year. That's all the questions. That's all the stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And a special thank you to all of my patrons.